Since getting hired as KDOC's first wellness manager six months ago, Katie Herzberg is still getting to know who's who at each facility. What EAP is and some of the examples of how they can access it. Yes. Um, Part of her work is delivering information about the Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, but since 2014, her passion is helping workers through the peer support program. Studies say that corrections employees suffer a higher rate of PTSD and depression than people who have been de deployed with the military across mm -hmm. seas. So um, my mission and vision is to work with correctional officers and employees across the state to help improve that, that and remove some of that stigma of um, it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to talk about your feelings, um, it's okay to not be okay. What's not okay is Kansas ranks dead last in states with the least access to care for mental illness, according to researchers, which only adds to the greater need for peer support programs in our profession. Do you want No. Ah. Lieutenant Keaton Hartley is part of the peer support team at Lansing Correctional Facility, where he has helped co-workers following a traumatic event. My first objective would be is obviously remove that individual from that area after they've been physically attacked or something like that. Take them to a per separate area by themselves, kind of secluded, and basically just talk to them, hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can offer you from the KDOC side? You know, there's other avenues. We got counseling and stuff like that that we try to provide to them if they do need further assistance, just processing the situation that just happened. Hartley says peer support may not be for everybody, but it is necessary for most. The biggest thing it means to me, it builds morale with your staff. It means you're there for them. You will stand beside them no matter what's going on with them, even if it's inside of here, like dealing with the day-to-day -day operations, or just dealing with that individual that physically attacked you, or if you have home issues. We are, we're a family here. We're here to help you and build that rapport with you and try to keep you here for your retirement. Please. But in the aftermath of traumatic events, peer support members say too many workers stay silent. There's definitely something to be said about the burnout that our officers are having and some of the just trying situations. And so many of them, I just feel like, don't realize that there's people available to talk to. And like, we're, peer support for professionals, but we're not psychiatrists, we're not counselors, you know, we're just an ear to tug on amongst other things. So I do think that there's a greater need for, for people to be available to talk to those individuals, but I haven't really seen an increase in people reaching out. We just know that the need is there, not as much people coming to us. So it's the job of Katie Herzberg to find and send out information of resources, whether in person or like you've seen through email. Other benefits she's working to bring to KDOC staff includes two trainings each year for peer support, trauma trainings for first responders, strategic planning with facilities around employee environment, encouraging policy changes in order to develop an employee award or recognition program, and finding daycare for each facility. A proposed program will be piloted at Lansing. It's all part of a holistic approach to wellness. If people come and they like to come to work and it's a safe environment, that solves our retention problem, right? I agree. With I mean, that's the whole, that's, that's a win-win. Looks good, that works out perfect. <laughs>